So this is what setup looks like. And uh, again, very pleasing to the eye as far as the way everything fits, the way everything looks. Now, for ease of play, as you're learning to do this, all you have to do is look at the bottom of the pieces, and it'll show you which direction the piece can move. Not all, not all pieces can move in the same direction, much like chess. And uh, it goes by rank, so your lower rank is up front, and then uh, it goes higher the further you go back until your highest rank, which is a general. And as you can see, he can move in any direction uh, up to five squares so the colonel can move anywhere except backwards I believe up to f four four squares and then the captains can move in six directions forward and back up to three squares the sergeants what do I got here the sergeants can move um, in five directions up to two squares and then finally the soldiers which you have six of can move in four directions ortho ortho orthogonally uh, up to one square so that is the pieces and uh, the piece always moves in the straight lines changing direction once a move is initiated it is not allowed so it's uh, along a straight path and each piece is not obliged to move the maximum of squares allowed, so even though this guy can move five squares, he doesn't have to move the full five squares. He can stop uh, after moving one, two, etc. Um, the base of each piece, as I already said, uh, will denote its direction. And then to go back to the trench that I was talking about, uh, it's represented by this horizontal line. And when a piece is placed on this line, it's considered to be inside the trench. And from that point on, uh, it's able to use some strategic advantages that the trench provides. So, and it'll also be subjected to some restrictions. But these advantages and disadvantages are mainly exceptions to the rules, uh, the, the, the standard rules. So the first advantage of being in a trench is a piece that occupies the trench cannot be captured by an enemy piece that is attacking from its own half of the board. So if I have a piece in the trench, say thus, nobody can attack it from this side, but it can be attacked from that side. Uh, what else? Second advantage, a piece from inside the trench is allowed to capture more than one enemy piece at a time. So typically, uh, if there's an enemy piece that is in the way of your movement direction, you can swap those out as a capture when you get to it. If that happens within the trench, uh, you can just keep attacking up into the maximum amount of movement that that piece is allowed to move. Uh, the restrictions of the trench are such, uh, a piece that occupies the trench cannot capture an enemy piece that is in friendly territory. So you couldn't uh, move from the trench to capture an enemy piece in your own territory, if I have that right. And the pieces representing the highest ranks, uh, colonel and general, are able to move along the trench. However, once they're inside it, they're unable to capture enemy units that are also inside the trench, since jumping over other units is not allowed. So the restriction limits uh, the movements a given piece within the trench. Uh, the objective of the game is to capture basically as many pieces as you can. Each piece is worth a certain numerical value. And... Uh, at the end of the game, you can tally up um, your total. Uh, session actually consists of two turns. And the first turn, uh, the player picks a color. The second turn, you switch colors. You switch sides. And then it is the grand total accumulation of points uh, from both turns that determines a winner. I like that idea as well. Um, what else? There's a little variant in here, and it, here's the little book, it, booklet that it comes with. And it's fairly thick, but there's a reason for that, because it's in, I think, English, well, obviously English, French, German, Spanish. So, if English isn't your best language, you're fine. There's a number of languages in here that describe everything you need to know. And there are some great resources, by the way, too on the internet regarding this thing. Some wonderful pictures. Um, 
history of the design and development and um, etc. So that's the game. I thought I'd share it with you. Again, not the biggest guy uh, fan, as it were, of abstract games, but this does have a military-inspired theme, which I always thought was cool. And I uh, finally got it. So that's Trench. And if you're interested, uh, I found this copy on eBay. You got to order it out of England. I'm not sure if the guy, I think he still has some, but uh, you're, feel free to take a look. Thanks for watching.